Hey everybody, uh, this is me at the new office here. Um, this is the start of a new series that I'm doing. It's I'm calling it Revenge of Revenge of Card Shop Life. I talked to Rudy, he said it was okay if I co-opt his co-opting of Darium's show name. So um, it's all good there. Uh, just wanted to let you know uh, some of the progress that's been going on and see, let you see how it's been going. Um, you can see here I've got these shelves put in this is all my listed inventory so all shipping will go out of here from now on instead of the home office so here i am putting together these wire shelves uh these were sitting in our backyard we were holding like tools and boxes and uh oil catch pans and stuff on them uh so they're a little rusty a little crusty uh, i've cleaned them up a little bit and they're surprisingly sturdy despite their construction the uh, shelves themselves are wire of some kind um and they sit on these posts on these little rubber plastic uh things you can see me clamping them on and just the the design of them is ingenious so that the if the shelf starts to slip down it actually squeezes those in tighter now these are my other shelves that you've seen before in the background here in the home office. Uh, I got these off of Amazon, and I I like them, but I kind of don't like them. I thought that they were a couple of inches wider than they are, or rather, I you know the dimensions are the correct dimensions, but I the I expected to be able to use more of the width than I can because. Uh, the way the rails are built are constructed on the sides you can't put stuff in the shelves uh, that's that goes all the way out to the edge of the shelves because it's like a one inch treatment on either side that is for holding up those shelf rails so unfortunately I can't fit two four row boxes side by side on these shelves so I won't be getting these specific shelves again in the future uh, I would like some that are a little bit wider. Anyway, uh, I'll tell you. I'll let you know how the wire ones work out for me. Uh, and I would like to upgrade to a better shelf system in the future. It's all uniform. Something like Mason at Cardinal has in in his videos. And here's the final constructed bit. You can see I've got the uh, the wire shelves are stocked with inventory, and these ones uh, I haven't. This is all stuff that I've got that hasn't yet been listed. It's got to be sorted. Listed is some of it is new stuff from uh, Collecticon. Some of it is stuff that has been sitting and waiting to be sorted and listed. It just hasn't been gotten to. Um, I still have probably another 20 or so boxes of these flat rate boxes of um, um, flesh and blood cards waiting at the home office, as well as a whole bunch of other stuff that is more personal collection or something that I really want to spend time going through to pick out you know i like i like the old i like the vintage sets i would really like to try and you know as goofy as it is to try and create um complete sets of the of some of the vintage sets that were new when i first started like invasion and mercadian masks and things like that anyway uh just wanted to let you guys know what we're doing and how we've got a new uh, I'll be talking to you guys a whole bunch more about what it's like to have a physical location. It won't be exactly the same as a card shop, so uh, because I'm not going to do it as retail, it's going to be strictly running an online card shop. Um, so that'll be a little bit different, something to set me apart from the other guys a little bit. Um, and um, But yeah, I'll go over a lot of those kind of details and everything. So. Definitely keep, a, keep an eye out for more in this series.